Hey everyone, it's Kato, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing the new April update that was just announced for Animal Crossing New Horizons. So if you're interested in content like this and you want to see more in the future, I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe, but let's just get right into it. So it looks like Nintendo just dropped the new update announcement on their website. Seems like we're not going to be getting a trailer this month, which is kind of upsetting. I really enjoy the trailers and I feel like we're much more likely to get something of note in a trailer. So when I saw this is how they were doing it, I was just like, okay. <laughs> but it looks like there's not really that much to get excited about if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, it looks like they have the same events, so let's go ahead and run through these events really quick. We've got the May Day event, which is from April 29th to May 7th. Looks like the update is going to be coming out in two days on the 28th of April. So this event we had last year where you go to a separate island using your May Day ticket, and when you get there, there will be a maze for you to do and then at the end you get a prize. Now I don't know if the prize will be the same as last year. From the picture it does look like the maze is different than it was last year which is nice. I had a feeling they would change this up because it's pretty easy to do but you know there's always that fear that they're just going to have the same exact content. So it does look a little bit different. I really hope it's a different item that we get at the end of the maze, but I honestly don't know. Then we've got my least favorite event in the entire game, which is International Museum Day, which happens from May 18th to May 31st. And if you didn't play this last year, <laughs> this is the most uninspired, boring event that I've ever participated in. I honestly will not even bother doing it this year because all you do is walk around your museum and find these little stamps and then you get plaques. I have no idea why they don't make this more exciting. I feel like they could do so much more with this. Maybe have you walk around and take pictures of certain things, kind of Pokemon Snap-esque, but it's so boring. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why they did this, but I guess we'll see. Last year, all you got was a plaque for each different part of the museum, so we'll see if that changed at all. It doesn't mention what the reward will be at the end of Museum Day, but we have that. And the last event that they have that they're talking about is Wedding Season. This is probably the most exciting of the three, in my opinion. This is from June 1st to June 30th, and based on the pictures, it does look like we're getting some new items with the wedding event. The one that they have a picture of is the nuptial bell, but there's also things like the nuptial ring pillow, nuptial door plate. So it does look like we're getting a few new items. Uh, looks like we're getting some new clothing items as well. So that's interesting. I do like this nuptial bell, and if it's customizable like the previous wedding furniture, that's exciting. But it does look like this furniture is actually available in Nook Shopping instead of getting it through the actual wedding event in Harv's Island like we did last year. It seems from the pictures that the wedding furniture that you get on Harv's Island is actually going to be the exact same furniture previous. I feel like maybe they're doing it that way so you're not forced to do the event again to get new items. I don't know if I like that or not. I, I feel like they need to include the new items in the actual event to encourage existing players to play the event and get excited about the events rather than vice versa how they're doing it now where they're having the existing furniture be part of the event and the other furniture just be available in nook shopping i don't know you guys let me know what you think about that i feel like that's backwards but i guess i just won't do the wedding event again i don't know <laughs> i don't see any reason to if i already have all the furniture that i want and i can just order the items out of nook shopping 
There is also a section on here that says there will be new seasonal items during May and June. You'll find a selection of items based on Mother's Day, cheese rolling, and more. There are a couple pictures here. I can't really tell all of the items that are new. It looks like in this one picture, there might be some sort of cake that's new. In the other one, there's this huge flag with some fish on it that is new. I actually really like that. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. I did try to go over to the Japanese website and look on there to see if there was anything in addition to all of the stuff on the American Nintendo website because sometimes they will update that one, include a few more pictures, a little bit more information. I did not see anything extra over there. So it seems like this is all we're getting, just the three events and a few seasonal items Obviously, there's always a chance that there will be other stuff included that they don't talk about, but I don't think it'll be anything big if there is. Okay, here's my feeling with all of this. I feel like a bunch of these items are actually really nice, and it makes me feel like they could do so much more with just some regular non-themed items in the game. I don't know why they insist upon having every single item be themed to a certain event, certain holiday, whatever it is. I just feel like there's so much more that they could do and I keep hoping and anticipating some kind of update with just new furniture that's just for everyday use. I don't know if we'll ever get it. I really, each update that comes out that is just holiday related, I get more and more discouraged that we're ever going to get that kind of update, but I honestly don't know. So overall, this update is about what I expected. It's kind of lackluster. It's just the same events that we had last year with a few new items sprinkled in. I feel like that's how every holiday is going to be this year. So I'm not expecting too much as far as the holidays go. I'm just hoping that they will have at least one, if not two, new updates that are quality of life or additional items that are not related to the holidays. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are you happy with this update? Are you upset that they didn't have a trailer? I would love to know all of your thoughts in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate if you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.